Hi, why don't you come on in? Today I wanted to answer the question, what is a Farrar condition in New York State? Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in beautiful and today cold Ithaca, New York. Um, my practice concentrates, focuses on DWI. Today I'd like to talk to you about what a Farrar condition is. You know, you sit in court and you hear the judge says, well, the prosecutor has placed a Farrar condition on this plea bargain agreement. Uh, so Farrar conditions, first off, involve plea bargains. Remember, plea bargains really between three parties. Uh, you, which is of course you and your attorney. Secondly, the prosecutor's office, the district attorney. And thirdly, the judge. Sometimes when your attorney is negotiating with the prosecutor, the prosecutor is going to attach a condition or conditions, that means obligations, things you must do, or things that they're not going to waver on and leave in the judge's discretion. A lot of things, usually in New York State, are left to the judge to decide at the end. How much jail, or probation, or no probation, or if you're going to get a conditional discharge, or what the fines are going to be. Sometimes the prosecutor, as part of the deal, and this is the second part of a Farrar condition, is it not just involves plea bargains, it involves plea bargains where you're pleading to a lesser charge. So that's the second thing about a Farrar condition. So it has to be a plea bargain, has to be to a lesser charge, and the third part of the Farrar condition is, of course, the conditions. The prosecutor may say, I want this to be with a maximum fine. So if the fine range is 500 to 1,000, that means that they're not agreeing to the plea unless you're agreeing that you're going to go along with it with the maximum fine. We're not going to go along with this unless you're agreeing to the maximum amount of jail for a violation, which is 15 days. So these conditions that could be placed upon a plea bargain, the Farrar condition or conditions, can't be varied by the judge. A lot of times the judge will, in their own discretion, ask, is this a Farrar condition? And you'll know exactly what that means. That means something that is non-negotiable, something that you're not going to, at the end, now say, I want my attorney to argue for lesser or different than what the deal was. It's part of the deal. If you have questions about your DWI case, uh, traffic case, these are the types of cases that I handle in the upstate region of New York. You could either give me a call or you could send me an email. And thanks for watching this video.